Google Search Console index coverage. Alternate page with proper canonical tag. In this video session, we're going to learn what this alternate page with proper canonical tag is all about. Basically, what this says is this. Uh, given URL can have link canonical information. And where is it? Where is it? Okay, let me search for canonical. So within the head portion of HTML document, depending on the content man management system you're using, Google may end up seeing canonical link link rel canonical to the URL itself. Understanding that when a canonical tag is used, what we're saying is the URL that has the canonical is the originating source. Therefore, alternate page with proper canonical tag means that Google has seen an alternate page as an alternate URL that actually had the canonical. So therefore, Google Search Console is reporting index coverage, alternate page with proper canonical. So therefore, these are excluded. That means Google doesn't need to put this in its index because it has found the alternate URL that has the proper canonical tag. Yeah, as we can see in this example, that's an old URL. Always triple check which pages you're looking at in Search Console. Is it the page sitemap? Is it the post sitemap for WordPress? Or if you're using different content management system, always analyze what you've submitted instead of all known pages first. That means analyze different sitemaps you've submitted currently to Search Console, the new Search Console. So therefore, if the new sitemaps you've submitted is showing alternate page with proper canonical tag, then you need to analyze that and triple check to say, you know what, yes, I'm aware of that. Or, well, if you're not aware of it, now you, you know with the new Search Console, right? Just realize what the message means. Alternate page with proper canonical URL is in canonical tag. So that's the tag that Google has seen. Let's explore a sample URL so that we understand. In this example, that's a WordPress security plugin. So therefore, it creates session IDs and so on. If we look at the URL here and search for canonical, then Google is saying, you know what? This is the canonical URL. Instead of trying to index this funny URL pattern, it sees the proper canonical URL with the proper canonical tag and it is aware that this URL is the originating source so therefore it has excluded indexing URL patterns such as this. That's what alternate page with proper canonical tag is all about. Actually this is excluded so when you look at it don't be alarmed because this is actually a normal scenario for most content management systems. If you then say to yourself, okay, I don't want to see these, well, let's see what we can do. In this example, there is a category, right? So let's look at the source code to say, okay, what is the canonical? Here, the canonical URL has this. So, then you can, if you want to remedy something like this, you can use redirection, redirecting this to the proper canonical version. So that's one way to fix it if you don't want to see it. As you can see, that's a feed burn up, perhaps RSS feed. In that scenario, you don't perhaps need to touch anything. But what if you're using a new commerce site and you end up seeing alternate page with proper canonical tag? and there are thousands of them, then you need to, at this moment, still go back to the old Search Console and explore URL parameters. 
I'll give you one scenario while warning you that this is a highly advanced feature and if you get things wrong here then you run the risk of losing a lot of rankings so you definitely need to read through how to use URL parameters but rank your YouTube channel shows you that insight as well in this example for that particular sample URL I've guided Google saying you know what that um, session ID is to do with something to do with my website I'm aware of it and when the URL has this pattern it doesn't affect the page content because in that scenario this URL pattern does not affect the page content makes sense it's the same as the proper canonical URL it's the same content as the proper canonical URL so therefore I can guide Google saying for that URL parameter it's just representative URL remember that option is available but URL parameter is a highly advanced feature and you should actually not be using it if you are not sure as to how to use it because word or caution getting things wrong with URL parameters can have negative consequences in terms of Google rankings apart from that that's what alternate page with proper canonical tag is all about I thank you very much for learning with Rankia if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share it and remember there is a new membership site whereby I share my own trade secrets secrets that will allow you to gain Google ranking mastery for various different keywords organic rankings are simplified through Ranker YouTube channel as well as the new membership site whereby there is plenty of new courses for website owners who want to learn the simplified version of digital marketing I thank you very much and wishing your website greatest possible success on internet